Everything you know about drones is wrong. This is not science fiction. It is real, and it is flying right now. Welcome to War Tech Analysis. Today, we are talking about a machine that is changing the rules of war. It is silent, it is smart, and most of the time, it is completely invisible. We are going to explain exactly what it is, how it works, and why it matters to everyone, even if you are not a soldier. This is about a new way of fighting, a new way of seeing, and a new set of problems that come with it. First, let's talk about the place where this machine was born, Israel. To understand the tool, you must understand the need. Israel is a small country. For a long time, it has been surrounded by serious threats. It cannot afford to lose many soldiers. It cannot fight long, slow wars with huge armies. So for survival, Israel had to think differently. The country's leaders asked a simple question. How do we protect our people without always sending our sons and daughters into danger? The answer was not bigger bombs or more tanks. The answer was intelligence and precision. Be smarter, see first, strike only exactly what you need to. This way of thinking made Israel a world leader in defense technology. They are famous for creating solutions to impossible problems, and this new drone is one of their most powerful solutions yet. Now, forget the drones you see on TV or in the store. Most drones have arms, propellers, and a loud buzzing sound. They are like small helicopters. They're useful, but they have limits. They can be seen, they can be heard, they can even be spotted on radar. So, the engineers in Israel started from zero. They asked another simple question. What if the drone was not a machine with a camera attached? What if the entire machine was the camera? What if it had no parts sticking out? This simple question led to a brilliant design. They created a drone that is shaped like a smooth ball or a capsule. Imagine a football, but made of high-tech materials and filled with electronics. That is the core idea. The shape is everything. Why is the shape so important? It's all about staying hidden. In the world of military detection, shapes are like voices. A square, a sharp edge, a spinning blade. These shapes shout, here I am, to radar systems. But a smooth, round ball is different. It's like a ghost. When a radar wave hits it, the wave does not bounce straight back to the enemy. Instead, it scatters in all directions. To the enemy radar screen, the drone looks like a small bird or a piece of dust or nothing at all. This stealth technology used to be only for giant billion-dollar jets. Now it's packed into a ball that a soldier can carry in a backpack. That is a game-changer. But a ball cannot fly, right? So how does it move? Inside that smooth shell is a very quiet fan system. It's not like the loud motors on a regular drone. This system is muffled and hidden. The sound it makes is so quiet that from just a short distance away, you cannot hear it over the wind or the traffic or the sounds of a city. This silence is a superpower. It means this drone can float right outside a window. The people inside could be talking, planning, and they would never know a machine was listening. It can slip through tight alleyways, under bridges, between trees. It goes places other drones cannot go because it doesn't have parts that can get snagged. And this drone doesn't need a full-time pilot. It has a brain. We call this artificial intelligence, or AI. It is not like a robot from a movie. It's a smart computer program. Before a mission, a soldier tells the drone where to go on a map. Then the drone figures out the rest. It uses tiny cameras and sensors to see the world. If a tree branch is in the way, it goes around it. If a wall appears, it flies over it. It navigates on its own, in real time. This means a commander doesn't need to be a video game champion to control it. They just point and send. The drone does the hard work of flying. This lets soldiers focus on the mission, not the joystick. Let's talk about what this drone can actually do. This is where it gets really interesting. The inside of the capsule is not filled with just one thing. It's like a toolbox. Before a mission, the team can choose which tool they need. The first and most common tool is the eye. They can put in a high-power camera package. This is not like your phone camera. This camera can see incredibly far. It can read writing on a vehicle from a distance that would shock you. 
It also has a thermal camera. This camera doesn't need light, it sees heat. In the middle of the night, in thick fog, it can see a person's body heat, the engine of a car that was just running, or a group of people hiding in a forest. It turns night into day for the soldiers watching the screen. But sometimes, you need to listen, not look. So the second tool is the ear. They can load a signals intelligence package. This turns the drone into a flying listening device. It can hover over an area and pick up radio signals, cell phone calls, or walkie-talkie traffic. It can then find exactly where that signal is coming from. It can listen to enemy plans without them ever knowing. There's a third tool, the jammer. This is for electronic warfare. The drone can blast out powerful radio noise. This noise creates a bubble of silence. Inside that bubble, enemy radios go dead, their phones don't work, their drones lose connection. It can confuse enemy radar, making them see fake targets everywhere. This tool can shut down an enemy's ability to communicate right before an attack. And then, there's the fourth tool. This is the most serious one. The drone can carry a small, precision explosive. We're not talking about a big bomb, we're talking about a charge designed for one specific target. Think about one window on one floor of a building. Think about one specific car in a parking lot. The idea is surgical removal. The drone flies its silent path, gets into position completely unseen, and then places its charge with perfect accuracy. The goal is to destroy only the target and nothing else. This saves the lives of innocent people who might be nearby. It's a weapon of patience and extreme precision, not blind rage. Now, let's put it all together in a real situation. Imagine this. Intelligence reports say a group of dangerous militants is meeting in an apartment in a crowded city. Sending a fighter jet is too risky. It could be shot down, causing a huge crisis. Sending special forces soldiers on the ground is even more dangerous. It could be a trap, and a fierce gun battle in a city street could hurt many civilians. So what do you do? This is where the capsule drone enters the story. A team parks a normal-looking van a miles away. From inside the van, they launch the drone. It makes a soft sound, like a thump, and it's in the air. To anyone nearby, it sounds like someone closing a car door. The drone then flies on its own. It follows the map, staying low between buildings, using them as cover. It flies like it knows the city. It arrives at the target building. Maybe it lands silently on the roof. Maybe it sticks to the wall outside a third-floor window. Its tiny cameras peek through a small gap in the blinds. And then it waits. It watches. It listens. For hours, it sends a live secret video and audio feed back to the command center. The commanders can see the faces of the people inside, they can hear their plans, they get proof, real-time intelligence, without a single soldier ever stepping into the danger zone. This is the ultimate spy, a fly on the wall in the most dangerous rooms in the world. Now let's say the order comes, the decision is made, the target is confirmed. If the drone is equipped with that fourth tool, the command can be given. The drone is already in the perfect position. It doesn't need to race in. It's already there. It does what it needs to do, and then it's gone. The entire operation from launch to finish was invisible, silent, and clean. This level of control has never existed before in the history of war. But the story doesn't end with one drone. The real power comes when they work together. This is called swarm technology. Think of a hive of bees, but every bee is connected to a single smart mind. A commander could launch 10, 20, or even 50 of these capsules from different spots. Using their AI and secure links, they talk to each other. They won't crash. They spread out over a whole neighborhood or along a long border fence. Here's how the swarm thinks. One drone might see something strange, a person moving where no one should be. Instantly, it tells the swarm. Two other drones break away from their roots and fly over to look from different angles. A fourth drone flies higher to see the bigger picture. All of this happens in seconds, automatically. They create a living, intelligent net of surveillance. No single drone, no matter how good, could do this alone. A human trying to pilot all of them would be overwhelmed. But the AI handles the flying, and the human commander gets the finished picture, the important information. This lets a very small team watch a huge area, all the time, without getting tired. 
For Israel, this technology is a perfect fit. Look at the Gaza border. It's a tense place where threats can come from tunnels, from the sea, or right across the fence. Having constant, invisible eyes in the sky that are hard to shoot down changes everything. These drones can patrol the border 24 hours a day, in any weather. They can spot a group gathering in the dark. They can see a tunnel being dug. They can follow a suspicious car without being seen. They create a shield of awareness. Or look at the threat from Lebanon, from groups like Hezbollah, who have thousands of rockets. These drones can be the first warning. Hidden in the hills, they can watch for signs that rockets are about to be launched. This gives Israel precious extra minutes to warn civilians to get to shelters. In a real fight, they could fly into enemy territory to find mobile rocket launchers. These launchers are designed to fire and then drive away to hide. Finding them is like finding a needle in a haystack, but a a swarm of silent, patient drones is the perfect tool for that job. The impact of this goes far beyond Israel. Militaries all over the world are watching closely. The United States, the United Kingdom, European countries, they all see the value. Why? Because it solves problems everyone has. No country wants to send its soldiers into danger if it does not have to. No country wants to cause a lot of civilian deaths with a clumsy airstrike. Every country wants better information, faster. The capsule drone offers a way to get all of that. But with this great power comes big, serious questions. Questions that generals, politicians, and citizens need to think about. If a drone can kill with such perfect precision and with zero risk to your own pilots, does that make it easier to go to war? Is the barrier to using force now lower? The ethics of machines that can kill are a huge debate. Right now, a human is always supposed to be in the loop to give the final yes to strike. But technology moves fast. In the heat of battle, the pressure to let the AI make faster decisions is intense. Keeping a responsible human in control is perhaps the most important challenge of all. There is another question. What happens when this technology spreads? The ideas are not secret forever. What happens when other countries or even terrorist groups build their own swarms of cheap, smart drones? The battlefield of the future could be chaotic, hundreds of intelligent machines fighting each other. Defending against this will be incredibly hard. This capsule drone is not just a new tool, it is the start of a new era of war, an era that everyone, soldier or not, will have to understand. Now, let's look ahead. The potential of this is mind-blowing, and it is not just for war. Think about natural disasters. After a huge earthquake, a swarm of these drones could fly over a wrecked town. Their thermal cameras could find survivors trapped under rubble, showing rescue teams exactly where to dig. They could check if bridges and roads are safe for ambulances. They could guard power plants or water supplies from looters. They could fly over vast forests looking for the first small spark of a wildfire. The same things that make them great spies, being small, silent, and persistent, also make them incredible tools for saving lives and protecting our world. So, what does all this mean? We are left with a simple-looking object, a smooth ball that holds immense power and complexity. It is a tool born from a deep need to survive in a tough part of the world. Israel's capsule drone shows us a future where fights are won with perfect information and pinpoint actions, not just with big explosions. It is a future that is quieter, smarter, and in many ways, more frightening because it is so efficient. It reminds us that sometimes the biggest advances come in the smallest packages, that the drive to protect your home can lead to technologies that change the world. This capsule is more than a drone. It is a statement. It says that in today's world, the biggest advantage is not size, but brains. It is not noise, but silence. It is not just power, but perfect precision. This is the real revolution. Not in a loud bang, but in a quiet hum you will never hear, from a device you will never see. And that changes everything about how conflicts are fought. The age of the silent smart drone is here, and this is just the beginning. If this look into the future of technology and warfare interests you, if you want to understand the real tools that are shaping our world right now, then you are in the right place. Help us keep making this content. 
hit that like button, it really helps the channel grow. Subscribe to War Tech Analysis and tap the notification bell so you don't miss our next report. We are just getting started and we have so much more real groundbreaking tech to explore together. Thank you for watching.